sorry i'm so so excited to be here it has been a magical magical day um this is day three of the 21 day intuitive upgrade challenge now the thing that i want to share with you guys is that intuitiveness and psychicness and awareness and consciousness is not just kind of like a go get it or a download we, we all have these abilities but the little things in life the little things matter the little things really matter and what I've put into my practices every day is gratitude celebrating and manifesting now I have a beautiful hello Helen I have a beautiful um, I had a beautiful coach um, Donna Lisa who is now a good friend of mine and she used to say to me go celebrate that so I'd sign up a client she'd say go celebrate that um, I, uh, I I don't know I would have had a breakthrough maybe I had a breakthrough about um, a block that I had and she'd say go celebrate and I was thinking okay and I, I'd, I'd just go celebrate but I didn't truly understand um, the the benefits of celebrating so today I'm going to talk about celebrating and why it's so important now I did a live on one of my pages today holistic energy shifting which is one of my group pages that you can totally join if you're not a part of that and I talked about magic and miracles and the truth is when I am in a, a gratitude a state of gratitude and when I'm celebrating my life I can expect miracles and they manifest as if by magic this is not woo woo this is legit this stuff really happens right so if you're jumping on replay let me know um, so magic happens everywhere and it can happen every day and it can only happen if we are willing to receive it so here's the thing celebrating everything is important and what I see as a life coach and a spiritual empowerment coach and a business coach I'm, I'm, I'm all these different you know these things I'm a wide variety of people I work with is I see people going oh yeah they you know this happened and but I wish they deflect they deflect the celebration so they go yeah I got the house but it needs work doing oh yeah we got some time off but it's only three days yeah we got paid for this but we only got this amount so people are actually deflecting their amazingness and their celebration so rather than celebrating they're always looking at the what if we could have got better what if it could have been better what if I could have done a better job right so celebrating is a basic a basic tool of turning up your intuition if you can turn up your celebration mode if you can turn up the gratitude mode so you will actually see if you go and watch me on holistic energy shifting today um, I was actually brought to tears in gratitude for because someone had done something so kind they had actually said with your free um, yes celebrating the small moments exactly um, and this person has said to me uh, Victoria I don't know how to thank you so I've done some light codes for you um, here's some bath salts and it was the most beautiful gift one of the beautiful gifts I've ever received and I felt the love in that and I you know I felt it I felt it so much and these little tiny moments the celebrating for fucking being alive today we dismiss these things and the whole you know I had a really great conversation with my friend oh but I wish it was longer it could have been better rather than celebrating what we got we think of what we think about what we didn't have I know this is very basic but if we're not applying these concepts and these principles like the, the attitude of gratitude if we're not applying these things and we're looking at what we don't have then what happens is we come back into that whole lack of so gratitude is huge but what does gratitude mean you know yeah I was grateful that that person did that for me you say you're grateful you say you think you're thankful but did you really feel it when I messaged this lady and I said thank you thank you thank you thank you I felt so much gratitude that I can feel it in a physical sense so do you feel do you feel the copious amounts of gratitude when you feel gratitude it's like it opens you up like a flower 
and a lot of the time we use substances like alcohol to feel ourselves opening up so we can feel our emotions because we shut them down because like I've had people when I was awakening and I was having these great days and receiving and celebrating because that's what my coach was teaching me to do was to celebrate. I had people say to me, have you been drinking? Are you all right? And I was like, I'm just full of joy. And they go, what are you on? So no wonder we're afraid to celebrate and be in gratitude and then manifest more of that. And that's what you'll see in, in that, that video that I did. So much gratitude and so much love. I was looking at your guys' faces. So on day one, I asked you to do a photo and, you know, say, you know, this is me, I am beauty. And I'm looking in the bath last night and I was connecting with each and single person, every single soul, and I had tears of gratitude. And then I yelled out to my husband and go, oh my God, look at all these faces. I'm celebrating this 21 days. I'm celebrating not watching TV today. I'm celebrating not drinking and going to bed and waking up. Because if we can't celebrate the present moment, if we can't celebrate the moment of where we are, and we're always thinking external, and this is the stuff I will always talk about, then what we're doing is we're missing the, the point. Now, I have clients and they say, I did this and I did that. And I go, celebrate. And they go, I am celebrating. I'm telling you now. And I go, that's not celebration. So let's take it back a notch. Because we know what gratitude is and we know what saying thank you is. We, we, have, been, we have been drilled. Good morning, Teal. We have been drilled about saying thank you all the time. Saying thank you. Saying thank you. I love the word thank you. Because if you match thank you up with gratitude... You, re hello Leah, you remind yourself to come into copious amounts of gratitude. And Leah, you're a perfect example. Last night, Leah is one of my clients, and I love using my clients as examples because they're in my vortex deeply. And Leah said, thank you. Thank you for all of this that we're doing in this vortex. Thank you. And she works very closely with me, and she said, this is the first time I haven't cried by it when I'm saying thank you. I, she, she said, I feel the gratitude of this. I feel and I'm celebrating me. And when we can go in the present moment to the gratitude of everything that is around us, something magical happens. The world opens up for us. And magic and miracles happen. And that's what I talked about on my other page today. So I'm not going to talk about magic and miracles. But celebrating is a key. And when this client said to me, when I said to her, what are you going to do to celebrate? And she said, I'm celebrating now because I'm telling you about it. That's not fucking celebrating. Celebrating is going, okay, I'm going to go do something physical now to celebrate my day or my sale or my success or my connection. I'm going to go do something now to celebrate it. It's a physical thing, right? So for me, after this, I'm going to go and have a bath because I like baths and I'm going to celebrate. And I, I don't know, I might even like give myself a herbal tea because I'm not drinking alcohol. So... I'm going to celebrate by having dinner with my family in a couple of minutes as well. Yeah, eat cake. No, I don't eat cake because then I've, I've got an addiction to cake, so I'll eat the whole freaking cake. So. <laughs> um, but yeah, or eat cake, right? Um, celebrating is about going, I'm going to celebrate that I just did that, that I just received that, that I just experienced that, and I'm going to let myself know. Um, perhaps it's like a halo. This is my new hat. It's a um, Be Brave hat. I'm still trying to figure out how to wear it. <laughs> Um, yeah, so it does look like an old art artwork, you know, I'm sorry, I'm getting distracted. So celebrating the little tiny things, celebrating that the fact that you got four hours straight of sleep rather than celebrating and rather than complaining that you didn't get enough sleep. I learned this art of celebrating very early on when I was going through depression because I was exhausted and I was up every hour with my kid. And so if I did sleep for four hours straight, I'd go, yay, yay, yay. If I woke up at like four or three in the morning, I'd go, yay, I get to go back to sleep and have more sleep. So I started celebrating rather than going, oh my God, I'm awake again, because that was actually killing me. So you got a choice to live or die in everything that we do. And so that's the same with, do I say that wasn't enough and it wasn't good enough? Like we do that with our partners what you did wasn't good enough our relationship isn't good enough this um money coming in is not good enough now the, we have a point where the things maybe they're not good enough and we require to look at them and shift them up 
And I even said to Tia the other day, this is not good enough. You need to do this. Thank you. Because it was need to say, and I said it with love. So that is, that is really us going, okay, let's, let's reassess and elevate so we can, or reassess and uh, reevaluate so then we can jump up another level. We can upgrade our intuition sometimes. That's why we have coaches to excel the process of, you know, what we're already doing to get there faster. And that's why coaches like Teal and Leah work with me because they want to accelerate where they're getting faster. So they must learn, as you do, how to celebrate everything. I've created an offer. You know, I get to go, I've dropped an hour at work so I can pick up my kid from school. Celebrate. Doesn't mean drinking wine and celebrating all the time. Celebrating on a soul level. I'm celebrating this connection I had with this person. I'm celebrating breathing today. I'm celebrating life today. It doesn't matter what you're celebrating as long as you are celebrating and you are being aware of the things that you're doing and manifesting and being and growing. Because if you're celebrating, it's going to teach you how to be in gratitude some people do not know how to be in gratitude and a lot of people they work with do because they're at that level but how can we come into deep gratitude where we do have the tears and we do feel it we feel the love for the world and we can tap more into that because with gratitude with the celebration comes a manifesting of all of your hopes and dreams all of them they come flooding in because you're willing to receive. If you're in fear or lack or scarcity, what actually happens is it's like we're this open portal, right, um, to receiving, but you close it. No, 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 can't take any more. I'm fearful of getting overloaded. I'm fearful of being more broke or more scarce. I'm fearful of somebody taking me off and I will start losing my shit. They'll want from me. That's why people are afraid to show up and turn up their intuition. That's why people are afraid to show up and make the money because they've got points of view about money. So what you want to do is celebrate and come into gratitude. So what I'm going to ask you to do today and to start implementing in your life is to celebrate the living daylights out of yourself. When my client said to me, I'm celebrating by this text, I said, nope. <laughs> You need to go do something to celebrate. What can that be? Go have a small cake, you know, or have a glass of wine if that is good. The feeling of gratitude is so potent and powerful. Absolutely. And we must celebrate. Now, I was taught with my coach about flow states. We're not always in gratitude. We're not always in happy. Um, you know, you can be put on a desert island and you want to be there and you love it and someone, I don't know who I was telling today, but you can be fanned by like this amazing person who's so like amazingly good looking and so kind and caring. It might be your partner, I don't know. They can be fanned by them and spritz and things keep coming to you and someone rubs your body with beautiful suntan lotion and you go for a swim when you want. But guess what's going to happen after like two or three, okay, two or three months of that. You're going to go, oh, I'd love some rain. Hmm. I'm kind of, I want to go for a run or move. I'm getting a little bit bored of this location and this view. And you're in paradise. We're not meant to stay still. We're meant to grow. You know, we're meant to grow all the time. We're not meant to stay still. But the human goes, oh, it's getting taken away from me. And we attach ourselves to things and we start creating chaos because we actually think that um, we have to chase. We've got to chase that kind of what you want or whatever, but it's not true because it's all within you. So we can be in a flow state where everything's flowing. And I, my clients are in this at the moment. They're like, yeah, it's all flowing. Last night's call was like outrageous. Everyone was like, it's all happening. It's all happening. There's so much flow. And we must remember to celebrate, celebrate all the flow. I'm celebrating this. I'm celebrating my life. Everything's amazing. Now we also need to remember to be in happy. If we must require to be, like, I'm happy, I'm content. Happiness is not an extreme emotion. It's a, I'm content, I'm good, everything's good. And then sometimes we're going to be in resistance. And that resistance, we will run for the hills. We don't want to be in resistance. We don't want the fight. We don't want this. But somehow we've created this because we've got this, this loop. So if you miss celebrate, which is the thing that I used to do, and a lot of my clients used to do as well, and I'm sure some of you will do that as well. What you want to do 
is you want to focus deeply on celebrating your life, celebrating your food, celebrating your bath, celebrating everything, your children, celebrating your birthday. Some people won't even celebrate their birthday and I've got to actually coach them through that because I've got things with their birthday. I did as well with my birthday because um, they weren't, weren't, weren't willing to, and worthy to receive the gifts or the attention for some reason. This is the deeper and cool work I do. But celebrating the rain, like celebrating everything. I know it sounds so crazy, but those of you who are waking up and wanting to turn up your intuition, you know what I'm talking about. Celebrating the breath, celebrating the body, celebrating all of these things and coming into mindfulness because then when the resistance comes, it's okay. You know that you're in a cycle. You know the flow will come. You know that you're going to celebrate. You know that the happy is going to come. But it's really getting that balance with that. So when the resistance comes, you're like, it's okay. I'm just going to come back to me. And I mean, I go deeper into this in, in my programs, in my relationship blocks programs and stuff. But I just wanted to give you a little bit of indication. And this is what, you know, Donna taught me with the flow states. I love it. It's so amazing. So the thing is, um, celebrating is the one thing that people go, what were those flow states again? There's resistance, there's happy, there's flow. What's that other one? And when we're missing yeah, you celebrate your birthday all month. That's amazing. I love that. So do I. Celebrating my month, my all year. <laughs> all year, my birthday. So when you're forgetting something, like what was on day three? What was it? What was it? What was it? When you're going unconscious with something, or I'm talking to you now, and you're going kind of a little bit unconscious, it's because it's something you need to look at because you're unconscious about it, right? So what does celebration mean to you? What does gratitude mean to you? When someone gives you a gift, do you feel it like I felt it with my, my mermaid bath things that I got yesterday in my, my light language? I felt gratitude for my group last night. I was like, oh my God, this is so good. These soul connections. I feel it. So where are we um, getting a little bit confused on what gratitude is? You might want to do some journaling on that. And also, what does celebrating mean to you? And I mean, what does it mean to you? to you what do you like to do to celebrate and start making that a daily habit not a I've got to celebrate because it's just my birthday or I've got to celebrate because it's a wedding um, we quite often as human beings tend to work our butts off and then wait until the holiday to actually relax but um, to be an intuitive being and to upgrade and that's what we're doing going into this 5d right now is really about going how certainly celebrating my progress yes and you had a fantastic session uh, <laughs> today well it was your yesterday because you're overseas but celebrating the breakthroughs celebrating the connections even the person on the street that walks past you and smiling at them and you walk off and you kind of smile and you're like I just had a connection with that person and if, if you don't understand what I'm saying you may not be there yet and that's okay so start small today I'm going to celebrate me today I'm going to do something nice for me to celebrate the fact that I woke up today and I chose to live <laughs> like it could be something simple like that today I'm going to celebrate my partner and our connection so I'm going to hold him for a moment just for just for 30 seconds to acknowledge the connection and sometimes we have to reprogram our minds because this is not really part of the, the collective energy how can we celebrate the moment and celebrate the things that seemed to be not so great and then they end up being the greatest things ever celebrate 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 and do something physical to celebrate that you sign up a client you celebrate you have a connection with someone you celebrate I just had an amazing connection with someone very 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 close to me and it was a very 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 deep connection so I'm gonna celebrate it you know, so we have to celebrate all sorts of things and it's going to be different for every single person. But celebrating life means you're living life. And a lot of people don't live life. A lot of people are still like got these blinkers on on what's going to make them happy. But the truth of the matter is it's all in you, every single thing. So celebrate yourself. The more you celebrate, hey Patsy. Celebrating is staying in nature or just do me, smooch my cat, cook.
cook the whole foods and enjoy the goodness of my hammock. Absolutely. So you, and yeah, thank you for sharing this with us, celebrating being alive. Oh, you're so welcome. I'm going to go celebrate by having dinner with my family tonight and going to have a bath with no TV, just connection. For me, that is real wholesome. For me, that is so important. And I'm going to celebrate that, the amazing sessions I had with my one-to-one -one clients today and the session I had last night with my group. Um, crank up the music and dance. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, how are you going to celebrate? How are we going to celebrate? So today, I don't want to crank up the music and dance. I'm going to have a bath because I need to, to unwind. But I certainly use that as a celebrational tool. So what is that for all of you guys? What can you do? Kitchen dancing with the kids. It's the best. It is the best. Like mine is like, what songs are your celebration songs too? For mine is like Katy Perry. <laughs> And I love pink. Like, I love Katy Perry and pink. I'm not going to lie. You know, the eye of the, like, the tiger, you know, the roar, and the um, Lady Gaga. Love them all. Love them all. Like, um, they just like amazing songs, and I love them. And I feel empowered. Thank you for my hat. I love it too. Yeah, it's amazing. Um, so, I have pulled you guys a card, and I'm going to head off because my family is there. But what I wanted to say to you today is celebrating and bring this in. Write this down in your diary. What can I celebrate every single day? And I promise you, if you celebrate, then your gratitude will turn up. Black and gold remake. <laughs> awesome. So, and what happens is when your gratitude turns up, you're receiving. So what I actually wrote was gratitude and celebration. So they're kind of going hand in hand. I just kind of want, you know, to, if you get the feel of this and then the next thing is manifesting. So when you're in that, when I was in the bath and I was saying, how does it get any better than this? How does it get any better than this? I've got soul connections over here and here and here and people wanting to work with me and people coming into my 21 day challenge and I get to see my friend tomorrow and connect with my clients. How does it get any better than this? I want and I desire more of this. Yeah, they are the same-ish. I'm kind of putting them together, the gratitude and the celebrate, um, because some people don't actually understand what celebrate is. So um, it's really about coming deep, deep, deep into um, the celebrate, because some people don't know what gratitude is. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, celebrating it all and feeling it all and then manifesting it and opening and go while I'm in the state of love and gratitude and love and gratitude and I'm feeling great I'm in flow <laughs> we're not always like that and that's okay but when you are in that utilize that utilize that utilize that utilize that and go oh, what would it take to have more of this feeling and it gets better, 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 and it gets better. And it's like the orgasmic life. Alignment, absolutely. I love that. Desire so sexy and orgasmic. Yeah, absolutely. So life is orgasmic. But we turn off that energy as children because we're told that it's not safe, right? Because that's a playful energy that we have. It's time to bring back the magic. It's time to, time to bring that back. It's time to realign, like Cheryl said. I love human design for that because realigning is amazing um, because you know your own blueprint. You know, um, you know, and you guys can find out what your human design is by going online and putting human design um, free chart in. Um, there's a lot of podcasts about it. Um, yeah, check out my podcast. I've got lots of cool information on there as well. Victoria Bond, um, Relisha Blocks with Victoria Bond. Um, but there's so much information. But unless we're willing to celebrate it, unless we're willing to be in gratitude, unless we're willing to go what else is possible, bring it to me, I'm ready, I'm ready, then um, then unfortunately we do cut ourselves off like this. So bring it in, feel it, see it, perceive it, be it. And then when we actually come into these other flow states of a little bit of resistance here or, um, you know, whatever, wherever we are, in that we have to go it doesn't matter right now I can be you know in a, in a mode where I'm actually just going to be switching off and just going to watch some TV and I'm just going to be by myself and you might even feel sadness you might even want to feel anger coming up and that's another another story because it's about releasing but if you are celebrating every day and you can come into gratitude and you can get to that state that I got to today on holistic energy shifting and if you can feel all of that 
yeah, I do. I enjoy my baths. <laughs> um, I even asked my husband if I could go buy like a flipper, like a little thing to put on so I could be a real mermaid. <laughs> I think he was like, yeah, sure, let's find you one. <laughs> um, if you can do that, you know, um, you're allowed to, yeah, thank you, Leah. And Leah, you've been working with me for a while and you said you've only recently learned how to open up and receive. Just like the word gratitude, there's so many meanings around that. We're saying thank you for that, but you have to feel it. Saying it is not enough, right? Um, you love this vortex. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and you practice with your kids every day and grounding. Yeah, so grounding is so good. So grounding, but also expanding to receive. Um, protection is all about just aligning and being. You know what I mean? So it's very much about... Um, going, how can I turn up my intuition to celebrate what I have already? I used to drive around in my car and go, I love you car, and I'd make sure I felt the gratitude for it, and then I'd, this is just a basic manifesting principle, and then I'd go, oh, but I would like a new one, and I'd like it to look like this. So I was actually like connected to the car in love and gratitude, and said, but I'd like another one, and then I'd get another one. So expand, expand, expand. Um, you, have you got a mermaid, mermaid flippers? Oh my gosh, so cool. Um, we could all become mermaids. <laughs> um, so I want you to expand, expand, expand and be in gratitude and allow, if you're not in gratitude, I have to say the life coach in me says this, if you're not in gratitude and if you're not in celebrating and you don't want to go crank up that music and dance, you know, be okay with yourself. Be okay with the whole... I'm feeling sad. It doesn't mean you don't have to celebrate. I celebrate being sad and being angry. Okay, I'm feeling something. I'm going to celebrate this emotional mastery that I have so then I can grow. And I'm like, hang on, don't get too excited because I actually do want to like release this right now. <laughs> so everything is beautiful. Everything is perfect. And everything is given to us for a particular reason. So what I wanted to talk about to you today was celebrate. What are you celebrating? Put it in the chat box. What are you celebrating today? It doesn't have to be massive. Because the smallest things, the smallest things are the things that make the difference in life. And the card that I pulled for you is home. And what I got from this, and it says your household situation is improving either through a move or a healthy change in the occupants. So, interesting enough, you're in my vortex, so or you're, you're um, catching up with good friends, awesome. So, the interesting thing, this is all about... It's all about, um, <laughs> why are they stopping me from saying it? I want to say confidence. It's all about confidence of being you and coming into you and celebrating you. And it's the simplest thing. You can be at home. You might not be at the at like the most beautiful beach in the world or the most the place that you want to be all the time. But it's about waking up and celebrating your home. Cele you are home as well. You are the home. So celebrating your home and having the confidence to bring new client. Wicked! Yeah, celebrate. Celebrate, 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 celebrate everything. From hopping into bed and like going, oh, I'm in bed, now I can lie down. To waking up. Celebrating, celebrating, celebrating. Yeah, coming home to you. Thank you, Patsy. Having a clean kitchen after dinner. Oh, yeah, I'm definitely celebrating that. Thank you for the car. Looking forward to moving. Ah, yeah. And, yeah, this is physical and it's mental and it's, it's all the different things. So celebrating life. Celebrating. And I know it sounds like kind of like out there sometimes, but we don't want to feel like it. So if you don't feel like it, that's okay. Sit in and go, hmm, okay, I'm just going to celebrate the feeling that I'm feeling. <laughs> And I'm going to come into home, into myself and go, what am I feeling? And what is, what is the beauty of what I'm feeling? Sign up to a health coach today. Well done. Yeah, thinking up a move. Mm, exactly. What does it mean to you? What have you got out of this? What is lighting you up? Celebrate. Okay, guys, I'm going to leave you with that. Um, I hope this resonates with you and has given you um, just a little nugget, a little nugget of knowing. You know what? It's safe to celebrate. Now, some people will say, you know, who do, who's a person that you break your ass off to? 
I've got people that I message and go, can I just brag my ass that I've had like the made about this amount of money. I reached all of these people today. Like, oh my God, how does it give it better than this? I love this. Um, now we have to have those people that we trust that we can celebrate to. Um, so I'm celebrating putting systems in place to create clarity flow with my business. Yes. Yes. I can't wait to get to that and have a look at that stuff. <laughs> Yay. So it's really about, yeah, just, just, um, I kind of lost my train of thought there um, for a second, but it's, it's really about just going, okay, so what do I know? What do I get? And, um, yeah, bragging, that's what I was saying, like there's bragging um, and there's also like being chauvinistic, but there's also saying, can I just celebrate with you for a second? <laughs> I had a really good month. Can I celebrate with you? I got a new client and, and finding someone who's non-judgmental that you go, can we just celebrate? And it's not an ego like thing like this. Like I know my high level coaches, I go, can I just celebrate this? And they're like, congratulations. And we literally bring each other up. And this is where um, when you're turning up your intuition and you're letting uh, the old drop by and you're being in gratitude for the now and the small things, you rise and rise and rise and rise and rise rather than always just trying to get and get and get and get and get because there's nothing to get. It's with you. That's where it starts. So celebrate you and start there. Okay, my loves, I'm going to love you and leave you because I'm going to go celebrate now with my children and my husband and um, yeah, no TV. So I'm, what are we going to do? Who knows? <laughs> Maybe we'll, we'll crank out the, um, the Katy Perry and the Lady Gaga. Sending you so much love and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.